Hey, beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford. Welcome to my channel. And if you are a subscriber or a frequent visitor, welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I have a goal to reach 10,000 souls in 2021. Let's get into this word. I want to talk about birthing the new and the painful process that happens. The Lord gave me the scripture 16, uh, John 16 and verse 21. But let me read um, from the beginning in verse 19. Now Jesus, when they now Jesus knew that when they desired to ask him, and he said to them, Are you inquiring among yourselves about what I said? A little while and you shall not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. Most assuredly, I say to you that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. And you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in labor, has sorrow because her hour has come. But as soon as she gives birth to the child, she no longer remembers the anguish for the joy that a human being has been born into the world. Therefore, you now have sorrow, but I will rejoice, but I will see you rejoice again, and your heart will rejoice, and your joy no one will take from you. And I think about that because when we are, it's like a woman who gives birth. When she is pregnant and it comes to the time of birthing, we are at a time of birthing a new thing, a new era in the church. Some would call it the post-church era. That's what they're in in Europe right now. That's what they call it. But I believe that out of that era has come uh, revival is being birthed. But when we are in a time when it seems like all this craziness is coming on, coming down. I believe it's birth pains, but at the end, when it gets, the closer a woman gets to bringing a child to birth, the more painful it is. But there's going to be time when we look back in the world and in our own lives when, like Jesus said here, when the, for the joy of bringing that human to birth, that promise to birth, that purpose and that plan to birth, that new beginning, that you're not even going to remember the pain. And so some of you may be going through something in your own life on top of and despite in spite of what else ever else is going on in the world, then add to that, in addition to, should I say, add to that uh, what you're going through, the birth pains of transition in you. As for me, I have completed a season. It is like a book in a chapter where the last word was written. And now I am writing a new book and a new season in my life. And it's like birthing something. And then as we birth it, we watch it grow. So first we have to birth it. And so you have to complete one thing before you have to be pregnant and conceive and let something grow before you can birth it. And then it's painful. And so we, as, as you have come out of a season of transition, for those of you who have gone through a season of transition and you feel like you're at a time of stillness and you're waiting for God to tell you what the next thing is that you need to do, um, and you feel like you're in a place where you're unsure or you're weeping for what you may have lost or what was no, what is no more, or even the pain and sorrow of losing that which was, then I want to encourage you to focus even in the pain, even in the unfamiliar, even in the strange and the unknown on what God is calling you to bring to birth. Focus on hearing his voice and being led by his spirit and taking his instruction so that you can walk into the new thing that God has for you. God doesn't give us everything at one time, but he gives us one step and one line, one word at a time. And as we obey what he tells us to do, then he gives us the next step. And sometimes those steps are painful. Sometimes they can make us be afraid, but he gives us the courage and he equips us to go forth anyway into the unknown. But we know who we are. We know who we are and we know who is leading the way. And so, um, 
I just wanted to encourage you today. I am standing here in my bedroom because I've been packing and I'm actually about to move and it's just a new and different season for me and there are places there are things that I'm unsure of but I'm not unsure of God and it's not like I'm unsure like I don't have a stable heart and mind but you we don't know what the next step in the journey is gonna be like we have a vision we have a call we have a purpose we don't know but we know that sometimes it's painful and I feel like I just came through such a painful season uh, in my life, to be honest, but it wasn't for not. Anytime God takes something, it's because he gives, he has something greater for you. And anytime he asks you for something, he will not require anything of you if he does not have something better for you. And so it's in the giving that is often painful, especially when we can't see what he has in mind. But as we come through that and surrender to God, as you come through that and you surrender to God and just let yourself feel the pain and the grief of the loss of whatever it was or the it's not even always loss it's sometimes it's just severing and different things and and an end to what was so that he can bring something new it can be a painful experience but it's birthing something new in you a new resolve a new faith a new focus, a new assignment, a, a, a refreshing in your purpose, in your prayer life. And so God wants to do that in each one of his children. He wants us. And so when a woman is in birth and it comes to that pain, she is totally in, uh, she's totally cooperative at that point. And I, did I say that right? She is going to cooperate with the pushing, the breathing, the getting this baby out because it has come to a point where it's not able to go back and it has to get out, but it's going to go through a birth canal and that is, means that she has to bear down and push and put herself through pain to bring forth the new thing in the life. And so God wants to do that for us. And I think about what he's called me to do and I'll have to share in coming days Um but I'm so excited about the little bit he has told me that he wants to do in my life and uh, and through me. And so, um, just like in the book of Revelation, when the women, when the woman was giving birth, the serpent was waiting there to snatch the baby to take that which God had given her, which she had birthed. But it, the Bible says that I believe it's angels came. The dragon, it was, I think he's called there, and I'll link the scripture, but they swept her away. I think it says into the wilderness, but she got away because the Lord saw her and he saw what the enemy was trying to do and that he was waiting right below the birth canal to catch this child before it can even grow or live or breathe. And so we have to be ever so careful then that when God opens up new doors, when God birth something new in us that we don't get caught up in focusing on, uh, on uh, don't allow the enemy to come in and snatch that new thing and I'll say something else because I have gone through all of that and more these past couple of weeks is that a lot of us have been agitated or I, I'll just speak for me things been drawn in or, or different things like that but what the Lord reminded me of this morning is that they didn't get off the wall when they were building. And I'm trying to think of, I'm sorry, I don't have the name today. You know, when they were building, uh, rebuilding the temple and people were coming to get them off the wall, they wouldn't get off the wall. They built and they had a sword, but they didn't leave their post. They didn't stop building. They, didn't, they wouldn't allow themselves to be distracted. And so I feel like the enemy is trying to distract what, people are doing um, with all these. And it's not that it's not serious. It's not that there's not a world in crisis. It's not that we don't need to be lamenting and praying right now. My church is on a fast and our scripture is to take up a lamentation out of Ezekiel 29 
for the princes, for the people um, that run the land. And so we are praying that. So it's not that, but the enemy tries to get our, our focus off of our assignment because when all is said and done, God has work for us to do. The world is growing darker. And so our light um, needs to shine brighter. And so I was reminded of that. And as I was being distracted and pulled into the things of the day, the Lord reminded me to stay focused on what he's called me to do because it's time to birth. I don't want to miscarry and I don't want the serpent to snatch away um, what God is birthing because I have given him access. And so stay alert, stay prayerful, keep your peace. And go through whatever it takes. Healing hurts and healing is hard. If anybody says healing is easy, it's a story. It's a lie. Be uh, Healing from trauma, healing from dysfunction, healing from certain patterns and allowing yourself to go through um, the pain of not giving your flesh what it wants, whatever that may be. If it's to have that argument, if it's to go back into the relationship, if it's to respond the way you want to, that you the way you used to, or you do do something and you have to repent and you have to do it God's way. It's hard to do things God's way when he's requiring more of you. And even when you've been walking with the Lord for a long time, when he pinpoints a behavior or a pattern or something that has been harmful or something that has hurt you and left you traumatized or whatever it is then or dysfunction in you then when he wants to heal it it requires you allowing him in to and following his instructions and sometimes that is just being still and letting the wound heal and feeling the pain of that wound as you as it heals and not messing with it and not tampering it and feeling all the things that come with something that is broken or hurt until it heals and it's better. And so that is the birthing. But when you get through that process, then you can take someone else through it. You can lead them in the way that they're to go. And so I just wanted to come on here and share that. I am, I am so thankful for what God is sharing with me. Um, as far as content for the new year. And I'm, I'm just excited to talk about it and to invite you guys into uh, this journey with me. And so I will check you guys out next week. And I hope that you are blessed and that you stay in the process. And if you have come through transition and God is calling you to birth something new, then you again, stay in that process as well and let him birth it all the way through. God bless.